Hi, Mr. Richards here. Today is Grade 6, Unit 3, Lesson 13, Practice Problems Review. In question 1, how can you find 50% of a number quickly in your head? Well, you could multiply by 1 half or divide the number by 2. B, Andre lives 1 and 6 tenths kilometers from school. What is 50% of 1 and 6 tenths? Well, in your head, you could do 1 and 6 tenths and divide it by 2. And if you think of 16 divided by 2, that's 8. So 1 and 6 tenths divided by 2 is 8 tenths. Question C. Diego lives half a mile from his school. What's 50% of half a mile? Well, what's half of a half, right? You could just take 1 half times 1 half to get 1 fourth mile. Continuing on to question two. There is a 10% off sale on laptop computers. If someone saves $35 on a laptop, what was its original cost? If you get stuck, consider using the table. Well, there's a 10% sale. Someone saved $35. So $35 is that 10%. That's what our table is showing here. So how can I get from 10 to 100? We, well, multiply by 10. So we can take 35 and multiply by 10 to get $350 for that laptop. Question 3. Explain how to calculate these mentally. 15 is what percentage of 30? Well, I'd like to think of that as well. This is 15 over 30, and that's going to be 1 half, which is going to be 50 percent. 15 is half of 30. 3 is what percentage of 12? Well, 3 over 12 simplifies to 1 fourth, which is 25 percent. And 6 is what percentage of 10? 6 over 10, instead of simplifying, I could go to 100 here. Multiply by 10. 10 times 10 is 100. 6 times 10 is 60. So 60 over 100 is 60 percent. Question four. Noah says that to find 20% of a number, he divides the number by five. For example, 20% of 60 is 12 because 60 divided by five equals 12. Does Noah's method always work? Explain why or why not. If we look at a tape diagram here, it could really help us to understand what's going on when we break a number into 20%. If we have 100% here, Noah is saying, I can divide that into 5 every time. Well, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 groups. Well, sure, if each of these little groups is 20%, these 5 20% do add up to 100%. So, yes, I definitely agree with him. And what he did here was to say, well, if my 100% is 60, I can take 60 and divide it into 5 and get these 12. So 20% of 60 is 12. Diego has 75% of $10. Noah has 25% of $30. Diego thinks he has more money than Noah, but Noah thinks they have an equal amount of money. Who's right? Explain your reasoning. And again, on these types of questions, pictures can always help. Now, 75% breaks down into fourths. One, two, three fourths. And the 75% is going to be three of these fourths. Noah, meanwhile, has 25% of 30 so if we take a look at our bar here, again, we're going to break into fourths. But this time, we have just one of the fourths to be 25%. So again, 75% of $10 for Noah. We can take that 10 and divide by 4 to get $2.50.
So each of these blocks is $2.50. Diego has three of these blocks, so that is going to be $7.50 for that 75%. Noah has 25% of 30. Now that 30 is still being divided into four equal groups here, which is going to be $7.50. So this block is $7.50, as are the other three. He has one of these four blocks for the 25%, so that's $7.50. And since $7.50 equals $7.50, Noah is in fact correct. Question six. Lynn and Andre start walking towards each other at the same speed from opposite ends of a 22-mile walking trail. Lynn walks at a speed of 2.5 miles per hour. Andre walks at a speed of three miles per hour. Here's a table showing the distances traveled and how far apart Lynn and Andre were over time. Use the table to find how much time passes before they meet. Let's take a look at hour number two now, since we already have hours zero and one completed. In hour two, Lynn's gone another two and a half miles to take this to five miles. Andre's gone another three miles to take this to six miles. They have a total distance of 11, and so if I take the distance apart, 22, and subtract the 11, I end up with, well, 11. After another hour, we're at three hours, we had a two and a half to this five to get seven and a half. We had three to the six to get nine, and add those two numbers together and get 16 and a half miles together. Take 22 minus the 16 and a half, and end up with, well, five and a half. And our fourth hour here happens to be our last row of the table. Add another two and a half, and we get 10 miles. Add another three, and we get 12 miles. Add those up, and we get 22 miles walked together. And, and of course, 22 minus 22 does equal that zero. That is it for this grade six, unit three, lesson 13 practice problems review. Good luck.